Hi all, in this video, I'm going to discuss about Salesforce Sandbox, okay? Like what are the different types of sandboxes available on Salesforce platform? Let's start. Basically, what is a sandbox? It is nothing but a replica of our main production environment, okay? So for example, if dev team want to develop any apps, okay, on Salesforce or testing team want to test any apps or we want to use uh, user acceptance testing so a lot of things are there right so if we want to perform any action directly we cannot go and perform on the production environment right before deploying into prod first we are going to develop test and check all the changes if they are working properly or not okay so for that purpose we need to create our own environment on salesforce okay so that is called as a sandbox on salesforce right now uh, let me show you one thing yeah so this image actually i got it from google okay so yeah uh, there are basically four different types of sandboxes available on salesforce you can see the image right like if you want you can check other images also i just opened it from google only okay so yeah the first sandbox is called as the developer sandbox we have two right developer developer pro okay so from the name itself only we can understand like in these two sandboxes it is used by the dev team to develop their applications okay and deploy their changes or do whatever they want okay so basically developer and developer pro are used for by the dev team okay and you can see right a lot of things are there refresh interval what is mean by refresh interval like uh, for example now we are doing something on the sandbox right that sandbox should have the data which is replica of our production environment right then only we could uh, de develop or test it properly so for this developer sandbox we can refresh it within one day what is mean by refresh whenever we are refreshing then the data in the sandbox will be uh, like uh, created or refreshed in such a way that it is it becomes the replica of our production environment data okay that is called as the refresh in salesforce terms okay now the only difference between these two ox is nothing but uh, uh, you can see here right only the storage capacity okay here is just a uh, 200 megabytes and here one gigabyte means what is the storage capacity the amount of data or the amount of records which we can create or which we can store in the dev org okay that is called as the storage capacity so this is the only main difference okay mainly these two things are used for development okay now uh, you might be thinking okay every time i'll use developer pro only why developer for me so actually uh, anyone cannot go and create uh, these sandboxes okay in their free developer edition or free playground or whatever it is we need to have a proper licensed salesforce org to create these sandboxes okay so these come up with some payment right so accordingly we need to think like really we need developer pro or we can go with the developer normal org okay got it right next next comes the partial copy partial copy is nothing but this is completely used for testing only you can see right for uh, qa you add training integration test okay so mainly uh, qa means what yeah whenever the dev team completes their uh, changes or development they will deploy those into partial copy i mean the testing environment so that qa team will test their uh, all the changes and if everything is fine they will transfer it to the uat environment which is nothing but the user acceptance testing okay so user acceptance testing means what mainly the end users the business people will be performing the last minute test to check whether everything is working as expected or not okay what is training over here so before using the production environment i mean uh, in the real time some people will be using the production environment right so before directly deploying into prod people will be trained okay like how to use the sandbox what all the records are available on the sandbox where they need to navigate to perform some particular action so for all these needs um, to be trained for the end users for the business people or for the customers who will be using this sandbox at the end in real time for their training purpose also we can create this sandbox okay mainly this partial copy sandbox we can create for qa for uat for training purposes of the end users okay and for the integration test also okay and refresh interval is what we can refresh like with for every five days only so for every five days only we can refresh so that the data in the partial copy will be the exact replica of our production data okay next 
what is full full is full sandbox is nothing but the exact replica of our production environment okay and here the refresh interval is 29 days okay and yeah here one more thing is sandbox templates here what is mean by sandbox templates so on salesforce while creating any sandbox we can select actually like which particular records need to be copied okay uh, from the production okay for example uh, from uh, while creating the sandbox and the sandbox templates they will give us an option like whether uh, it need to copy the accounts records contacts records lead records a lot of options will be available for us so we can select actually like we want to copy only accounts and contacts records okay so we can select the only those records so once a uh, sandbox is created only that particular accounts and contacts data will be copied into our sandbox okay so that is called as the sandbox templates over here and yeah storage capacity is obviously equal to the production of okay and uh, mainly full sandbox it is used for what for performance testing for load testing and for staging okay so yeah guys these are the different four types of sandboxes available on salesforce platform okay and here actually i have opened my dev org but i already told you right like uh, we can uh, we cannot create any sandbox from the developer org okay we need to have a proper licensed org to create a sandbox okay so currently i don't have any license org so generally if you are having any license org what you can do under this quick find just search with sandbox currently i'm not able to view but yeah if you will search with sandbox then you should be able to view okay the option to create a sandbox okay i can show you the go you can see here right yeah see uh, just search with sandboxes and here like this this is one of the google image i just opened and see sandboxes you can just click on this and you can see here right we have it showing like four different sandboxes available developer developer pro partial copy full okay so if we want to create a new sandbox just here you can see here right new sandbox we just have to click on this button okay and we can create a new sandbox see here we have some existing sandboxes also created you can see here right we have refresh and login okay now refresh i already told you right like a uh, uh, few sandboxes can be refreshed within one day like a developer can be refreshed within one day partial copy can be refreshed within five days and full sandbox can be refreshed for every 29 days okay so whenever that particular time period has been completed then we can view this refresh option over here if you will observe for uh, this refresh option is not available for the second one okay so maybe that uh, one day is not completed okay and one more thing what is login now once you have created your sandbox how you can log into your sandbox okay basically to the production org we can log in using logging dot salesforce dot com okay to the production org actually um yeah we can log in using this url okay for the production of but to any sandbox we can log in using test dot salesforce dot com okay just instead of login you can put it as test okay so you can just remember to production org you can log in using login dot salesforce dot com and to any sandbox which you created which is the replica of the production org you can log in using test.salesforce.com okay and uh, credentials also for example uh, for the production org if i am having credentials like amulia dot star at the rate of uh, at the rate of like gaming.com okay something if this is the username for my production org uh, in my sandbox how my username would be it would be the same but but just it's like dot dev if i if i have created a dev sandbox then it would be dot dev for the sandbox username i'm telling it would be dot dev or if it's a testing then it would be like whatever it is it depends if it is whatever is the name of our sandbox it depends in that way like dot test or if it is a training then it would be dot training okay something like that okay this would be our username in this manner okay so just remember this logging to sandbox we should use test.salesforce.com okay and yeah here you can see right sandbox templates so using this option actually you can select which uh data you want to be copied to your sandboxes like accounts or contacts or leads or opportunities so accordingly you can select that one from this sandbox templates and you can create okay sandbox history now coming to this option uh using this sandbox history you can view like all the history like what sandboxes you have created and if like lot of things okay if you have refreshed your sandbox then that data also that record also you can view in the history okay so 
yeah so once you will click on uh, new sandbox button to create a new sandbox uh, this image also i took it from google only so you can view uh, this page okay where you can see right uh, we have to provide the name of the sandbox description and here also clearly it will mention like what are all the sandboxes available okay for us to use you can see here right only developer is available remaining all are not available okay so yeah also yeah this image also uh i told you right if we will select the sandbox template like this it will ask us to select like which all objects data we need to copy to the sandbox okay so like this we can select actually account activity approval so here these guys have selected these things okay so using sandbox template we can select like which data we want it to copy to our sandbox okay and we can just click on create okay create button over here so our sandbox will be created okay yeah that's all guys so this is all about what is a sandbox on salesforce platform what are the different types of sandboxes available for us to create how we can create a sandbox how we can log into a sandbox for what purposes we can use each sandbox okay so this is all about okay i hope you guys found this video really helpful thank you so much guys for watching this video bye bye